Hi guys, Troublemaker here, and I'm playing Pillars of Eternity, and I am doing, this will be, I guess, part two of uh, 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 Turn in Time and Tide, Time and Tide. I've also picked up this new one, The Master Below, which also involves the same sort of task, and I have a dialogue here. I was hoping our meeting with Meowald would go a little differently, but then you have gained an entire fief. I don't think I've seen anyone inherit land that quickly since Kind the Younger read her father's will. I did come to Dyrwood looking for a new home. There, I see! The ship floats yet! This might be good news in the end. Whatever else happens, you have an entire castle to explore, and answers yet to come in Defiance Bay, if Meryl spoke true. Searches at least. And then, there are secrets beneath the keep yet. <laughs> With you at the helm, it should be easier to explore the endless paths. Yes. Goodbye. Okay, so I guess I have to keep him in my party for at least a little longer because he is pretty plot essential right now. Uh, at least until we get uh, this part of it done. I'm not too... Um, not fluent. Uh, pardon? That's not the right word. I, I don't really like the idea that I have two chanters in my party. Uh, feels a little bit redundant. I mean, the... The dual casting spells are excellent, don't get me wrong, uh, but uh, there's a little bit of overlap there, and, and I'm in severe need of a uh, another off tank or uh, another heavy damage. I don't. Chanter doesn't provide heavy damage. He provides support, and support is great. Don't get me wrong, I like support, but you can have too much of it, especially when it overlaps like okay. it does. Uh, the Chanter does pro provide more support than my healer. Uh, but my healer I need for healing. <laughs> yes. Uh, looks like the wall is gone here. So I will be permitted to continue with roll into the zone. Here we are. To think we are so close. Beneath our very feet lie the endless paths built by Ad Nua, the great Anguithan king. Well, up here this is all Adira, of course. But should we descend farther, we will find some real history. Cover that great king's tomb would be a dream, but it is one of his servants I am after, Gabramas, a powerful mage and a dedicated scholar, a keeper of lore, just as I mean to be. He was in possession of the Tanvi Oratoa, or whatever form of it preceded the one we know. I've seen it in ruins, alongside Gabramos' name, scraps of the same symbols and verses we know in Rauta. He must have held the words in high regard. Or perhaps he was even the author. You sound very impressed by this, Gabranos. They say he held the power over the elements, Kama cops. But I'm more interested in his writing. He was a prolific author. I haven't been able to translate anything, everything, but I've seen enough to know that he traveled far and wide. If only we could have met him, what wisdom we could share. But we can only follow his example and strive to learn from those around us and improve upon it. Uh, you haven't actually read his writing? Well, not entirely. How could I? It's a dead language and hardly anyone has translated even a small fraction of it. But what little I can, I have translated. By comparing the symbols in his works to what others have found, I pieced together a phrase from the Tenvi or Toha. Clear as day. I even gave it to the keeper uh, to, to check, but she was convinced. I had written it myself. Why does this book matter so much? We're about to face troubled times. Once we were a unified people, but that's changing, and Tanvi or Torah is a heart of that. Th these are those who say that we haven't held to its instruction, that we've allowed ourselves to grow weak, and polluted our tradition by welcoming foreigners rather than laying claim to the lands around us, that we must hold those to those traditions if we are to make of ourselves a nation to be feared. My brothers would have it so. But we don't need to isolate ourselves to make Ratui great. I know there's more to the chant. It wasn't created of sand and water a thousand years ago, but brought to Ratui by the Egwitians, by a people that knew the value of alliances and shared their knowledge with us. And with that knowledge, we made Ratui what it is today. If I can find the original, I can prove it. They'll know that the chant is far older than we believed that the Ithuans favored peace and trade of knowledge. If we follow in their footsteps, we can make a kingdom just as grand as lasting as theirs. Um, 
Averting conflict is noble ambition. And a lofty one, I know. Kenna grins. I'm glad you feel the same way. I feel it's better to course for Rat Rawatai. We are people of many races, and we've always stood together. I feel we are destined for greatness. Are you always this excitable? We're on the verge of greatness story. Discovery. I wonder at your, at your restraint. Gabranos will have brought the text with him. It will probably be within a library. Or a tomb, perhaps. It tends to be one of the two. Let's be off. How may I help? Okay, so we have lots of dead friggin' bones all over the place. So this place already gets to start creepy. And we have stairs going down, perhaps? I can't actually see whether they go down. I seem to go down because it's a basement. It's going under. It's a, it's a, a, a maze. This is supposed to be a maze. Which means I should be very careful of traps. Because mazes have lots of traps. So we have some Zara up here. It's an, okay, so we have a Zara priest over there. So we'll send this guy after him. And this guy will mm -hmm. rush in there. And try and get down that priest as quickly as possible by blasting with a lot of ranged attacks. Yes. And this guy will be focusing on the groups. Okay, there we go. We have the group. Okay, I can't get to the priest. The priest is not mm -hmm. going to be someone I can get to. But he's someone I can kill. Okay, huh? um, this person's gonna have to move up and get a heal. Okay, that did not heal nearly as many as I hoped. Oh boy, I got a snare on my priest. That is not good. Okay, so I'm at three, which means I can get some skellies out for both these guys. I think I got rid of both. Did I get, uh, yeah, all the priests are dead. So I want her to get away as quickly as possible, because she is both a ranged and not a, uh, powerful unit. Uh, jeez. He has an ability that heals, so he's on this dude. Hopefully that'll heal him a little bit. Okay, skirmish with a little bit of health left. So that was a pretty brutal opener, I think. Um, I lost a lot of units there. Or, uh, endurance anyway. And uh, something I'm going to have to watch is these bars in the future. Okay, so I always go left first because statistically this. So there's a bit of blood here. You see that? Which means that what this could be a trap. Well, he cleared it pretty easily, didn't he? Yes. I still think that's probably a trap. Move like everyone else pretty far away. I'll send the goat in. Hmm. Hi. Okay. Seems to be fine. I still think it's a trap though. Why is the blood there? It makes no sense. Following so I'll send in somebody with particularly high amounts of health. Kenneth, watch out! Ah! He, the blood is. There is a trap right here. This thing. Yeah. <sighs> Why did the goat not you know, trigger that? So here we have Adra and Silver Lush. How may I help? Okay. So the animal will not set traps. So you have a priest, a skirmisher, champion, skirmisher, so we have a lot of units. I'm going to go after that priest first, obviously. See if we can get a stun on the skirmisher. Yes. 
Oh, this guy's gonna have to uh, tangle this guy. I think he's a lot more powerful than I would. Look how low his uh, endurance is after uh, sacking that trap. Whoa! That is a lot more dudes than possible. Okay. Uh, we're gonna use a lot of freaking powers here. Yeah. Looks like this will hit. Did not, however, save the day. Is that a trap? I think there. Oh, that's the the dead body. The dude. Never mind. Where is it? No, it feels more like a trap. Okay, so. Uh Hey. Well. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. Jesus is terrifying. Uh can I get the guy encapsulated in that protective bubble thing? I think that's what I'll do rather than lose him. I'll get him back later. Ah, oh, he's dead. He died. Okay, I'm up to two chance, and this is where not having an off tank pays off, does not pay off. Following your lead. Hmm? How may I help? Okay, we're gonna need to use some pretty potent spells. Guy's getting stopped. Okay, what else get here? Champion, skirmisher. Skirmisher's the guy who net champions going to do all the damage. So I'll get the guy who controls. But I now have the ability to cast some spells, so I can make good use of these guys. I still need to get. That on. Yes. Oh no, please don't die. Why is that skirmisher still alive? It looks like it did not take as much damage as we could hope. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna use this spell on this guy, and hopefully this guy can escape quick enough. No, he died. He did. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, let's get skirmishers down. Let's focus on the champion. And she's maybe a heal. Will do us good. Oh, what did that do? He's laying on hanting somebody? Of course. Of course. Guess that sort of makes sense. Both those skeletons are dead. Time to get new ones. Ah, skeletons! Hmm? Plenty full, plenty full skeletons. Let's... So I don't have a, a two tier spells left for this person. Only these, so... Hmm. I think I'll hold on to these for now. He's got a tier one spell I can use. Um, if I, ca I hit this skirmisher, it'll hit the dragon and the worm. It'll also hit my skeletons, but I mean... You know... Equal... All oh, my skeletons are dead, so it's coming down to um, just range damage and down. Okay, this is getting more and more brutal. I'm losing uh, giant swaths of people with every engagement, so uh, missteps are not going to be 
appreciated at all. And I'm also going to be very calculative with how I'm using my uh, huh? generation. So I'll take this guy since he has had none. And we'll use him as a trap person. Okay, well, now he's taken some damage. Uh, so I have a broken blade. Anything else in here of value? I'm kind of thinking this cubby hole might have something, but nope, looks like it's over in this random pot. We have Potion of Fleet, Moonstone, and Money. How may I help? I haven't really been making use of my potions, I've had them. They've been building, I just haven't been using them. Okay, so that covers that wing. I've gotten a Blade of Endless uh, Paths, and apparently it's an ancient sword that I can rebuild. So that's neat. Send in the. Is it only one? Probably just take one by himself. He died instantly, in fact. Oh, we have something else coming up. And that's going to be a loom. Let's see if I can pull him back here. Oh, he has homers, does he? There we go. Let's get this heal happening. Less of an effect on our, uh, yes. our stuff. And I don't have anyone red blinking, but I do have one guy who's red. Um, so now is the time for being careful. Let's just say. This sarum is lying in a corner of the chamber. Its ribs show starkly beneath its scaly hide, and its breathing is labored. Each whistling breath causes discomfort. So it doesn't seem to uh, react to your presence. Examine the corpse, cut the sarum's throat, leave it alone. So examine. You look to be sure there's a strange discoloration on its skin in several places, but you cannot see anything that would inform you that what ails the sarum. So leave it alone for now. Maybe I can come back and cure him or something later. Nothing in that room of any value. Is it on the map? It is not. So I'll just have to memorize that particular location. How may I help? I assume there's got to be more than just the two. Oh yeah, we have a full-on worm back there. Okay. Um, I have to get a bit closer to heal with that. Poor man. Let's get him on the worm. Okay, so I have four spells I can cast. God, that is a freaking ton of them. Look how many of them there are. I am in so much trouble right now. Um, I have to use some of these spells, so uh, damage reduction is going to be a big one. Uh, I have two shots left, so we'll use them on yes. that skirmisher. And we'll put him on the skirmisher as well. Hmm? Okay, so that's going to not heal my guys up, but it will reduce the damage they take. I think I can do a very, very small area here. That'll heal up a little bit of damage. I have my three chance, so I can get out my skellies. My dual skellies, which would not be possible if I did not have two chanters. Yeah. So that dude is pretty close to dead. Oops, I was refocusing my attention on this worm here. There we go. Now we have lots of damages all around. Now I did lose a dude here, so I'm gonna have to use one rest. I, I haven't refilled my rest, unfortunately. So that's gonna have a very, very dire effect. There's a point six here. I hope that's not damage I'm dealing. <laughs> that would just be terrible. Pull this guy back just so he doesn't soak so much damage. 
He seems to be on fire, actually. And that had no effect on the amount of damage he took. Okay. Still seems to be quite good. And now my other chanter, my, my main chanter, my main dude is dead. So I'm not going to have excessive mass of skellies. Okay, so this is starting to work good, well, appropriate. And I won't have to use any of your spells with this other guy. Unless I have some freebies available. Oh, he's got skeletons, but I... We won't use him yet. We'll wait for the actual skeletons to die. He doesn't have any, so... There we go, the worm is dead. At what cost? At what cost? And there's also no experience benefit to killing all these, just a money benefit. Because um, the actual experience... You only get experience for the first kill on every floor. And every other kill after that uh, gives you no experience, just gives you money. Which you can use to purchase things, obviously, but uh, yes. that's part of the grindiness of the game. What do we have here? A curl against the inside of the broken shell is a tiny white shape. Only when a tiny touch maw opens to let the frightened squeak, it's clear that the small worm recently hatched. Hmm. I, shot. I wonder if that is a cure for our Zara friend here. Well, I'm almost certain I'm just going to cure you. He's going to come kill me. Uh, How may I help? so no, that's not a cure for him yet. I can cut his throat, but you know, that's a, what I can do there. What is this? A won't let me see what it is. Is what it is. So that's the finest stock. What's this? A fine hatch and a one-hander. Hmm. 12 to 17, so not quite good for him. Um, what is this item I just picked up? A fine mace. 15 to 21, one-handed, damage reducting. Ooh, ooh, that is that is that is a, a salty mace. That gets much better. He actually looks kind of badass with it. Okay, I'm still not fully equipped on any character yet, although I am only in chapter one, so that makes a ton of sense actually. Oh, what am I doing? I'm supposed to be using my goat. My goat's supposed to be leading the charge here. There's someone in there. Maybe there's a door access somewhere else. Oh, that to my oh my god. Yes. Why did I not send in a goat? I knew... Oh, of course. Yes. I just healed up, you know? That is, that is so cheap. That's so cheap of the game developers to do that. Like it wouldn't be so bad if you could disarm these freaking traps. Uh, so what do we have here? A hand and key. Which is a medium armor called hand and key, and uh, Faradum's curse. So this roll-up piece of parchment is covered in smeared charcoal scrolls. Let me get it down in writing. I knew this was a shit plan from the start. Merrick Gleeful as a toddler convinced me we were going to talk the Zerps into helping us fill our pockets. Help Andreas fight into a great big pit. More like, now you've all run off like hares. Meanwhile, here's me, up to my armpits and bones and Zerps shit. I hope y'all rot down here. I hope Merrick trips right off the edge of the world and Drafton loses what's left of his wits and guts. And the rest of you, five of us left, and you run curse each other and every one of you. And curse me too. For dying here on the couch of a bunch of mewing pisspots. Here's for what for when one of you rotten lizard bastards learns some Adrian. I hope you all fucking choke. That's brutal. Of course. Now a lot of these things were actually Kickstarter contributions, and a lot of them were not exactly vetted. So uh yeah. There's that side of things. Fine robe. I think I picked that up earlier. The medium one, though. I think I've been using my main guy with medium armor, haven't I? That's heavy armor. Never mind. Uh, who's been using mediums? He does. So, 10 more damage reduction, fine preservation, and faster recovery speed. Hmm, looks like a winner for our mage. 
And he looks pretty sexy in it, doesn't he? Lie to him. For the love of God, lie to him. Okay, so, um, this looks like a way down over here. Some steps down. Yes, so this is where it might become kind of maze-like. We still have one, two, three rooms to explore here. Okay, so I'll send him right after the worm, and I'll send this guy in to do a stun. She's gonna go heal immediately, just so this dude doesn't die. Survive my goat. Oh, wow. Then I didn't realize this guy's actually been knocked down. One more hit. There we go. Everyone's got a really sl slow swing speed, so the, the damage per second of my group is very erratic and shifting constantly. So, one room here. Indeed. We've already been in through here. God, this is terrifying. Okay. So I have two, at least two zeros. Probably more. Probably a gaggle or so. But we'll try and knife down the non-stun target, which will be this guy here first. Yes. Send her in to heal immediately. Huh? Set him... Target, and then the main guy. Ooh, yeah, of course, there's many of them. Of course, there's many of them. Um, so I get an idea of what's here. Oh, yeah, way more than what I could possibly expect. Okay, so she's in position to save the day. Let's see if she can. Nope, doesn't save the day. That more or less does suck. Okay, I'm gonna send my main guy in. This is so scary for him to do this. To rush in and. I do some excessive damage here. Looks like we're gonna get one skirmisher down though, which is excellent. Huh? Okay, so I can... I have a few spells she can use that will be useful here. I'm not gonna use any of them just mm -hmm. yet though. Yes. Double worm. God, that is such ass! Okay, this guy... So much Jeez, let's we'll keep him... Doing that for now. So whoever gets 50% health, I'm gonna... Uh, wow, that was a crazy crit. You see that? I just stopped him. Oh, actually, I also had the bolt. Never mind, that wasn't him. I had the bolt from this guy coming in. I, I totally did not appropriate that. I think that Zerub's knocked down, so I can probably move this guy off. As other people will kill this Zara. Okay, so he's at 50% yeah. health, so I'm gonna cast uh, this spell here, Withdraw, which will isolate him and make him basically invisible. Same time, we're gonna get our skellies out. Yay, the army of the undead have arrived! So that's gonna save him from, you know, medial amounts of damage. The skeletons will come to tank a lot of the damage, and this worm here should die relatively soon, actually. What is it? Hello, you can attack too, you know. Alright! All clear. Terrifying freaking room. Okay, so this guy's kind of a bit jarred here looking. Get away from the... Oh, wait, no, he's not dizzy anymore. Let me up here. Fine leather armor. What does that have special? Recovery speed 80%. So that's yes. kind of similar to what the uh, wizard is wearing. Your oil. Sure. Okay, so now we have the final room of this floor, which looks kind of like a, a chapel. 
sorts, and it is a sacrificial pit of some sort. Stepping into the chambers, you, you are assailed by a cacophony of screeches, growls, and barks. Blood-spattered zarps dance in a frenetic leaping motions to one side. A sort plunges his hands into a bucket teeming, teeming with blood to dab patterns onto others eager to join the rites. At the end of the room, one zarp wearing the long skull of a long, young drake with vibrant feathers shakes a staff towards the gathered zarp, screeching and clicking. The high priest suddenly raises the staff above his head, shrieking with you in renewed vigor. He swings the staff downward to point it at the pit, and then at you. I think we've been invited to participate. Okay, so to war with everyone. Oh my god, there's so many units. Okay, uh, I'm gonna run. Of course. Oh, I'm not chanting yet, actually. Hmm. Okay, this is terrifying how close this is, so I'm gonna save real quick. Have everyone kind of positioned to get ready for war mm -hmm. and appropriate alignments. Well, as you wish. And we can probably cast. Oh, we can't cast things on ourselves just yet. Okay. So, uh, jeez. No, I can go in the pit, too. Okay. No, it's not allowing me to actually go in that pit. Oh boy, that was such a huge mistake. Okay, um... I thought it would, but I guess that's something for later? I suppose? So this is going to be super effective here because just how many of these there are. Huh? On the downside, my main dude, my only dude really, who can soak damage is going to die real quick. So I'm going to have to do this to him right away. And he died. He did. Okay, that was exceptionally bad of me. It's, um, obviously I'm not playing hardcore mode. Let's, uh, did I do the auto save or did I do the real save? Yeah, that was obviously not how you have to do it. Obviously, that was a threat of death, not a threat of inviting yourself to die. No, that was... What? The frig? Um... Oops, maybe? Maybe oops? Hope I didn't lose my progress. I, I... Oops! I don't... Oh god, that's a ter that could be terrible for me. Okay, whew! All fine. Okay, so blood splattered here. Dudes are ready. Let's get everyone set up for war. Yes. Um... On your word. Yeah. I don't know if I can even beat this just yet. So I'm going to send him this way, him this way, he'll stick here for now. She's going to move a little bit closer just so she can do things. He'll move a little bit closer, same reason, uh, probably go a little bit closer, and then this guy will be uh, gunning down the skirmisher. Okay, so it looks like the bulk of them will be on this side. On your word. Hmm? Huh? Thing isn't doing the job. Woo, he is dying so quickly. Okay, so go with the banishment, see if that worked this time that we have more split up damage here. Jeez, there's so many of them.
This guy's got spells he's casting himself. Like a lot of the regular Zarups die very quickly. These skirmishers are, are very, very nasty. Okay, so I, I got rid of him. What is it? Pull this guy back. Yes. He's been shoot. Okay. Um, let's do a attack that's gonna burn through. All the while, I do need to kind of get people off. Yeah. Losing him is kind of a big deal. Whoa, why is this guy running out here? You're an idiot. He can't reach, I don't think. Okay, we're gonna use some lighter damage attacks to get rid of these Zarups. Yes. But I do have skellies up, so let's get them going. Okay, I'm gonna need to get a big, big heal happening. So, this right here. Um. Oh, we've lost the goat. The goat is now no more. Okay, running low on spells here. I can use one more healing spell, which will heal up uh, my main yeah. body a little bit more. On your word. Okay, still. Hi. We're down. Who? That's. Lava. No, who is dying? Is he back up yet? Feels like he should be sooner rather than later. Okay, now I can use the fire spell on the priest. I think he is my next main target. And also, I can recast my skeletons up. Oops, um... Jeez, you know what? I'm gonna hold off on the skeletons just for a second. Or no, put them over here. That would be a better solution. And these skeletons will be a flanking position behind him. That way the fire doesn't interrupt. That would be my biggest fear right now. And if we can get down the... There's a priest and there's a high priest. So if we can get down the skirmisher real quick, then he has no real damage dealing abilities, does he? So maybe we'll split some deeps here. And there's the fire damage. Oh yeah. And I got this guy back up. That is sick. That is awesome. Uh, looks like he killed off all my skeletons. I'm gonna stun this priest here. He's more hits that skirmisher down. Why is this guy in melee range? I don't know. So he's healing right now, which I kind of a counter spell cast on him. But I don't. Okay, this guy's casting a spell. I gotta stun him real quick before he gets that off. That's the end of that. Uh, we have a skirmisher, we have a high priest. Yeah. 
And I think that will do it. And then I have the worms, which didn't enter combat for some reason. Okay, that went disastrously terrible, but also ended up being not too terrible at the end. I survived. Uh, surviving. I didn't lose any uh, any units, any men. So I don't really have enough to go into the next floor. So I'm going to kill off these dragons. I'm going to uh, get more camping things, and then I will be back here. You know, eventually. None of that stuff will happen. Um, How may I help? Yeah, and we're just gonna keep him completely back. Okay, so got arrows to throw. These worms actually die exceptionally fast, it seems. Just been getting to them. Okay. Uh, what? Turn back, lost spirit. Can you talk to him? How may I help? There is only death upon the endless paths. I shall. Okay, so this is definitely the answer, but uh, I really don't have enough. Uh, uh, I can't supplies really make a go for this, so I'll just be saving this here, and next day I'll be returning where I left off with my camp supplies.